Hey, what's going on everyone? This is True Warrior here bringing you another video. Uh, and today I want to be talking about a new item that is going to be coming to Fortnite Battle Royale, um, the Rift to Go. I'm going to kind of give you my thoughts about it, uh, what I think, whether I like it, dislike it, uh, you know, kind of if I think it's going to help or not. Um, I'd love to get your feedback in your comments as well, so please be sure to uh, leave comments down below. Also, we are still doing the $10 code giveaway to one person once we hit 50 subscribers, so uh, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. Turn the notifications on so that you're staying up to date with all the videos that come out. I do stream a lot on YouTube, so um, if you want to be notified, you want to watch some live streams, then um, you know, you definitely want those notifications on. Um, you also, um, if you would, please just uh, like the video, drop the comments down below, and you'll be entered to win that $10 code. So um, just please get that for me, and I would greatly appreciate it. Um, so now on to the topic of discussion for today, and in this video, I want to talk about the Rift to Go. This new item that's going to be coming to Fortnite Battle Royale, we're expecting this to drop with the 5.3 update, which is due tomorrow. Um, I'm really kind of curious as to first, you know, what everyone thinks, so leave your comments down below, um, even... During the video, if you want to pause at this point and just kind of leave your thoughts and then follow up after, that's cool as well. Um, but um, let me start out positively saying that one thing I like about Epic Games is they do bring new content to the game. Um, they, they keep things somewhat fresh because there's constant change. Um, it, it's good for there to be some change. I, you know, I'm a person who preferred and loved using the double pump um, and I'm not fond of this new meta with the uh, you know spray and pray type meta and these SMGs I, I really don't like it um, but I understand the change and the need for the change and that's and and that's good okay it keeps everyone fresh and it forces you to learn and to adapt so um, that much I can appreciate but I will say when it comes to this new item the rift to go um, and I'll drop a video or a, an image of it right here on the screen for you so that you can see it um, if you haven't already. Um, is it, basically what it says is it's a rift that you carry in your pocket. You teleport above your current location and glide down. Um, and so what I'm gathering from this is basically this is the, currently the rifts that are in the map right now in Season 5. Um, except for it's portable so you can use it at your own leisure. Um, I guess the the thing about this that really uh, gets me is the fact that Epic seems to be moving towards minimizing the skill gap of players. And I understand they want everyone to enjoy the game, but there are so many people who have invested so much time and resources into learning how to build effectively to double ramp, double wall, um, gain high ground, um, other tactics and things for combat that taking away that skill gap from those that have invested that time um, is really frustrating because now I'm not the best player out there. I'm really not. I'm not, I wouldn't even consider myself good, but I have invested a lot of time in learning how to do things in Fortnite, and and I've gotten to the point now that I can I can at least get in the top ten on a pretty regular basis. I, I find myself coming second or third in solos pretty frequently. Um, I've gotten a, a win or two here and there. Um, so, like I said, I'm not a great player, but I've gotten better, and I'm continually working to get better. Um, but the problem that I'm finding is we're seeing so many different additions to the game that it's taking away from those individuals who are investing their time and their resources to get better and, and try to get the edge. Um, with this Rift to Go, uh, it, it's just adding to more of the escape and run sort of mentality it seems that uh, you know Fortnite or that uh, Epic is going with Fortnite Battle Royale. Um, we, you know, we we saw the first uh, edition of the 
uh, or the first movement towards this in the uh, port of fort um, the port of fort you throw down and you instantly have a three-story building that's made out of all metal and you know you you can gain instant high ground so it took away the you know the the need to have to build faster to get high ground over someone because all you had to do now was just simply throw down an item throw it directly below you you're going to hit a tire shoot straight up and you immediately have high ground over someone else with the strongest material in the game um it's just it, it's very frustrating um, being a person that has invested time into trying to get better at building and being able to build faster and gain high ground um, to have things like this happen. So in the port of fort I'm not going to lie, I don't even use it. I don't particularly like it. Um, I kind of use it as a decoy more than anything else. But with this rift to go, I think what we're going to start seeing is we're going to see more people use this as a defense to just kind of run away when they're losing in the battle. Um, so let's put your thinking around this and just, just think about this with me. Um, you have invested your time in gaining material. You have invested your time in positioning yourself into an area that puts you at the advantage. Um, you've been strategic with your movements and you begin to battle someone. And as you're battling them, you you know, you guys start building, you get a few shots on them, you get them weak, and then you've, you know, used your material, you've used your ammo, you've used all this, and then next thing you know, they they have a rift to go, they throw it down, they take off, they're gone, you can't follow. Then what? You have spent all that time, the resources, you've drawn attention to yourself from other players, um, all for what? For nothing. Um, you know, the person just ran away. Um, there's, you know, there's still some, I guess, question around what the Rift to Go is going to be. Um, you know, how is it, how is it going to work? Is it going to be single use only for one player? Um, and then it immediately goes away. Is it going to be like the current rifts in the game where once you go through it, it is activated, uh, for a 10 second, t uh, countdown before it disappears. Um, are you able to throw it down and leave it down? permanently until you decide to use it um, you know we don't know there's a lot of speculation around that and we'll see you know as this drops the update drops uh, you know as to what this goes on you know what goes on and how people use it but um, but like I'm saying and the, the the thing that I don't like about it is the fact that people can basically just run away versus having to stay there and fight um, or you know battle it out and if you are the player that has the advantage and you've invested that time to learning how to gain high ground and get the advantage you should be rewarded with that um, but having a, you know an item like this just in my opinion I think it's just doing too much uh, I, I think I really think you know epic is really doing too much um, sometimes when it comes to the things that they're adding into the game and the new things are great but make them useful um, bring new things into the game that that you know don't assist the people that uh, you know are intentionally trying to flee or run away or aren't willing to invest time to be you know good or decent at the game um, you know bring items into the game that you know are just going to be good even kill for you know even keel not kill <laughs> for everyone in the game um, you know that doesn't minimize or maximize a skill gap um, you know I, I, I guess I guess maybe I'm being a little too critical but I just I don't like the idea of being able to quickly just run away and get away and and you know once you're in battle you're in battle that's it um you know this is a battle royale mode and you know we <laughs> people need to battle uh not just run away and it's it just it's i don't know i don't know that i really am gonna enjoy this rift to go i'm not saying that i won't because i obviously haven't used it um you know would i be happy if you know hey i have one and you know i'm getting shot down and i can escape well sure but I'm not. I, I I don't. I don't think I would feel good about myself. Uh, you know, I would rather have um, known that I won a game, or I you know was able to take that victory royale, or get that kill because of my skill, not because 
um, I was able to use something to evade um, and, and just let them get, you know, uh, or, you know, and just take it that way. So, um, you know, it's just I, I'm curious to see what everyone else thinks. You know, do you think this Rift to Go is going to be a good idea? Do you like it? Do you dislike it? What are your thoughts? What are your comments? Um, drop that down in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Um, I'm really curious to see what everyone thinks about this, if it's going to be good or not, um, and how you plan to use it. Let me know uh, down below in the comment section. So once again, please uh, hit that subscribe button, uh, turn your notifications on, like the video, drop the comments down below. You'll be entered to win the $10 code, and I will see you at the next one.